Welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have an exciting thing to share. I picked up the Tom Ford Iconic Smoke palette. Much anticipated. There is another colorway that he did with warmer tones. That one is a little bit delayed. I've already made some swatches with this but I want to show you the colors. This formula is the new creme formula. And we'll do some comparisons. I have done just some swatches for you. And you will notice that it's not an incredibly dark palette the way that it looks. Can you see that? There's a lot of dimension and we've got kind of like a nudie shade. And you've got like kind of your glitz and the blue is kind of gentle. And then the black is like, it's almost like a gray more than a black. It's like a smoke. I bet you that's why they call it a kind smoke. <laughs> So we're going to do an eye look. I do want to tell you that um, on my face today, I used the Radiant Dewy Clay de Peau. Love this foundation. I don't really have any Tom Ford foundations. I had to declutter them because they went bad. And now they're doing some reformulating, so I'm sure I'll pick one up. I also used my Terra Bronzer just to kind of make it look like I'm not in a very cold place where the sun doesn't shine. I did wait until today from yesterday to try to um, swatch. <laughs> yeah, it was freezing and that didn't really work out. This is a blush that I cannot part with. It is called Flush. It is one of his like, oh, if any of you guys remember this blush, I will not throw this away. It just gives you this like fresh and flushed look. I mean, I don't know what else to say. It's called flush. I'm waiting on highlighter because I kind of like want to see what's going on. I also did my brows and speaking of brows, if you are like me and you are in love with the Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel for your eyes, to fill in your sins of the 90s and 2000s when we plucked them. This is actually being discontinued for real. Your order's in before everybody else does because once it's gone, it's gone. And it really is gone this time. So, so we're going to do an eye look, obviously. I'm going to pull you in a little bit closer. Oh, well, not that way. I'm so new at this. It's like, you get what you get when you come here. So I kind of have plans for it, but when I started swatching it, it's so interesting that those really dark colors are not the dark colors that they look they are. They literally are going to create a smoky eye. I have not yet done a video on brand new brushes from Sonia G, but I'm going to attempt to use some of them today, mix in with some of my other favorites until I can get a handle on those brushes. I'm not going to review them just yet, but I may use a few of them today. I also have some lipsticks and stuff, and we're just going to have a Tom Ford Fest together. If that sounds good to you. Please stick around. I would love to have you stay today. If you are subscribed, thank you so much. And for those of you who enjoy yourselves today, please consider subscribing as well. I'd love to have you guys here. I'm kind of excited. The creme formula, first of all, this one, they're calling this a, I think it's a micro suede or something, but that's the same wording that they had before with the other creme quads. 
like these. To me, the formula feels very much the same. These actually might be a little bit smoother, which we'll take a look at when we do the swatches, but I want to put this on my eyes already. I'm like very excited about it. I'm going to start out with this larger Sonia G brush because I really just want to put the nudie color. I'm going to go into this nudie color, go on top of a used MAC paint pot and painterly, but this is just a really good priming shade. And that was fast and easy. Okay, so I've got, I want to show you the pigmentation on the two darker colors. They come out looking like this. It seems like there is definitely more blue and then the black might just be like to blow it out. So we'll, we're going to try that first. So I'm going to go into the crease with the blue. And I'm also going to pull it out on the side here. This is the T4. There we go. We got a C2. So I'm going to go into the navy shade. I love navy. <laughs> I just have been waiting for something navy to come out. Now, everybody, my crease is in here. My eyes are fairly hooded. And also I'm having a drop here. So I do have to make some adjustments when I go out here, but I do just start kind of trying to get up against the brow bone to give myself a little bit of extra room. Well, this brush is really nice. Look how easily that's blending for me. Oh, I like that more than I thought I was going to get. That was one little dip. Let's see if I can take any of it down here. Wow. I'm impressed. Are you guys impressed? It's so interesting when you go into these palettes and you know you don't know what's going to show up on what. You don't know what the pigmentation is going to be like. You don't know about patchiness. This formula feels more cream to powder than some of the other ones have. It, to me they're creamy but they're not like the other ones I will show you when I get there. This is building beautifully. And over here, I need to make an adjustment because it has to go straight out here to give the illusion that when I open up my eye, you can see that color. And I am going to go into the crease a little bit, really trying to press up against that brow bone and just get a nice shape going. It has been absolutely the weirdest winter like ever in Chicago. We had like a week or so that was just crazy cold. We've had so much rain. I feel so sad for my golden retriever who loves snow. This is so pretty. It's like it's a navy blue, but it's not, it's not overwhelming. Over here, I'm going to go a little bit higher also to adjust for the falling down lid. Isn't that a pretty color? And it's not patchy. It's just that it's not dark. The easiest thing to blend with this brush, I'm getting a really nice up and out shape over here. That was a pleasure. You know, you never know what you're going to get with these palettes. You never know if there's going to be a formula change. And I was, I'm such a fan of the crumb formula. I just love it. And then I like the wet dry. And then there are certain palettes that I still have that are not either one. And I could do a video one day if you guys want to of just Tom Ford palettes that I have. I think we should take the smoky gray and see what we can get that to do over here. I'll put down shade like I just want to kind of pack a little bit of it here to, to darken this area. And it's just like a nice smoky gray. I wouldn't even call it a black. And just take a little bit of that over here to kind of blend this out a little bit. It just gives it like that little extra smoky kind of a feel, which I love. I love these colors and I love 
these eye looks that are like cool colors, but not hard to wear because of the pigmentation. I am looking forward to the, all of these cool toned delights. I am going to go back into our original color, this sort of nudie color. I'm just going to kind of blend the edges here. I'm going to go in with my finger and take a little bit of this smoky gray color. Just build it right behind the lash right here. I like to do that with shadows. I like to put a little bit darker of a color just right behind those lashes because it makes it look like they're very fanned out. This feels very soft to the touch, very smooth. I guess that's why they're calling it like a micro suede. And for people who don't like creams, cream to powder than I thought it was going to be. I want to go underneath my eye with the navy first to just connect over here in the corner. That is just the navy. Try to see if I can just kind of do like a wing out a little bit. Well, that was pretty easy. Let me do the other side with the blue and then we're going to blend that out too. Tom Ford stepped back from all of his businesses, but Estee Lauder's had the beauty for a long time, but I don't understand why everybody is changing formulas right now. It's crazy. It's like every single brand is coming out with new formulas. I'm going to do a little bit of the original color down here. Just get like that nice softness. And we're going to clean this up when we're done. His artistry was absolutely amazing. So if you haven't seen all Feisty's video yet where she unearths all of this makeup that she had from up to 20 years ago, one of the things that she had was the original Terra bronzer and it was big. And I love that big one. It's gone. Now this is the size and she did a swatch with this and I'll put it over here. And it's a beautiful cool toned bronzer. The one that she has from years ago, pigmentation on it was like five times the amount of this one. So it was, it was interesting. All right, I want to go in with the sparkly shade to see what we can do. This is the strongest shade of the bunch. I'm going to go in with the favorite, Ruffer 21. But I'm going to pick up a shimmer that I don't know about yet. Knock off whatever's there. I'm going to start in the middle. Oh, this is really pretty. It's like, it's very soft. I like the softness of this palette. It's just, it's not too much. It's like, it's just enough. Like you could get away with toning down a little bit of this color and wearing this during the day for sure. And then amp it up after work when you go out, if you're going out. <laughs> and really take the shine to like a new level. I mean, that is just beautiful. I'm loving it so far. I think I want even more drama coming out. I wing gas 03. I'm going to take some of the navy first and just try to deepen this up a little. Just get like a really nice blend. We're going to clean that up. When you have hooded eyes, you have to kind of play games a little bit to get the shape that you want to be showing when your eye is totally open. Okay, I love that. And then even to diffuse more, I'm going to go into my Wayne Goss 04 brush. And I am going to pat this on first very softly. Take it 
with the navy. And I'm making an adjustment here. Which I may have to do with my fingers. I really like the way these are blending together. I like the softness that I'm feeling. Oh, that is per D. Let's go in with a clean brush now. And just make sure that we have that really nice blend going. Using a clean brush is really a nice way to make sure that you don't have too much of your eyeshadow on, but enough to make a difference. This is so pretty. I love it. See how this picks up the bronzy color, the taupey bronze, chocolatey, taupey, fabulous sparkle. These creme formula ones, these cream to powders, just aren't like anything else that I've seen anywhere. Now over here in this area for me, I run into problems because I have a lot of texture there. What I like to do just as like a little insurance policy, I'm gonna take one of the Victoria Beckham Beauty um, Eyewear in Trench, and I'm literally just gonna go right here before I put on any other color, because I really want it to lay down without looking crinkly. And I can even take a little bit of this here, blend my arch, and I'm just stealing a lot of real estate up there right now. Now the one thing that we don't have is an inner corner highlight here. So I have some, some of these highlighters and I don't know if this is exactly the new one, but I know it's close. This is Mood Light and I'm gonna take the lighter shade. I'm gonna take it on a very tiny little brush here. This is gonna be more like just a pearl to catch the light. I really wanna kinda keep this low key look we've got going. Well, that had some fallout. Yes, I should have used an eyeshadow. So I'm lightening up here and even up here. Do the same thing over here. It just kind of gave the, the eye like a little bit of a lift. I want to use my finger to see if it's a different kind of pigmentation than using a brush. Because so I'm getting a nice lot of pickup when I go, oh, okay, okay. So if you want to have more impact, fingers are nice. Wow, this is so pretty and so smoothing. I want to blend this with EKA 503 just to really make sure that we've blown this out, got everything blended, feeling seamless. I'm a huge dry brush fan. And then you can go in and blend whatever color you want to blend out with. And I'm just going to go back into the, to the nudie shade. Just kind of hit this to sort of soften everything. All right, what I want to do right now is put some liner into this equation. Pulled some that I thought might work. So I pulled Satin Kajal in Mirror. Put swatches of all these. I don't think that mirror is going to work, even though it's a very gray tone. The next one that I pulled is Smoky Quartz. And this one is like almost identical to the color that's in there. So that's a possibility. And I actually think that this would be nice to like line like the middle of my eye. And then I was thinking it might be kind of fun to amp up the navy a little bit because I've got this navy liner. We're going to do navy inside and I'm going to do a little bit of the smoky quartz on my eye and we'll see where we get from there. Let's start with the smoky quartz. So I'm going right in the center here and this is a little trick that I do because when you have a hooded eye, you basically see what's right here and then you can kind of see behind it. But this part of my eye should have the most zip because it's in the center and these liners, they last 
forever. And I have no idea what the staying power is for the eyeshadow yet. But these don't go anywhere. I'm going to go inside my waterline. I kept thinking smoky, gray. It's time to be decisive, right? Okay, I'm going to put a couple of finishing touches on here. I want to make sure we're very deepened here. And I like that very much. This is the BK501. Guys, these Angie Hot and Flashy brushes are like a godsend to me. They are so easy to work with and the concealer brush takes my breath away. Like I can't even do my concealer anymore without it. So I'm going straight across here because it's this part of my eye is really hooded over here. And just a little correction over here. We'll finish the lower lash line when we get to a mascara. We are using the rougher curler today. What I like to do is curl kind of one side first so I can get that fanned out look. I usually curl my eyelashes before I do them, but I was taking pictures and stuff of the palette. We had to, my poor dog keeps getting these shaky ear infections and it's, it's so sad. He's like our child right now because <laughs> our child is currently studying and learning and having a ball at college. I'm excited. He told me it was 60 degrees where he is today, so that was kind of nice. All right, I'm gonna go into the upper waterline here. Now, I have a big waterline. And when I tight line, I like to go in between the lashes. Now, blue is a huge color for spring. There is a video of me doing a light blue eye. I'm gonna do a what's coming up next video tomorrow because there's so much stuff coming that's been sort of on hold and I want to show you guys everything that I know of that's on the way so you can save more money and wait for the things that you really want and you know what's coming. So I'm going in between the lashes here, but I'm doing it much heavier on the outer corner. People are using like colored mascaras and stuff for blue. I think this for me is where I'd want to take it. We'll see if I want to add any kind of like a little wing when I get my mascara on. For me lately, there is only one mascara in town. It is the Vast Lash from Victoria Beckham Beauty. And I need to get real close to my mirror for this. There's so much stuff sitting here. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, a lot of brushes and pencils and whatnot. Okay, so with this mascara, you have a limited amount of playtime. It is a tubing mascara, but I feel like it's a different kind of tubing formula. Like it comes off with warm water, but not necessarily in tubes, but I get no flaking and no transfer all day. And the reason why I love it is because it gives you these giant gorgeous lashes and right now my lashes are regrowing oh see I dinked I always dink if you dink leave it I know it's hard it's hard to look at I want to clean it you want to clean it we're waiting till it's dry so I'm literally like turning the brush because I'm going from the root to the tip and really trying to saturate each of those lashes. I feel like when you have a very pretty light look like this, a beautiful fanned out eye is like exactly what you want. I'm gonna do some lower lashes because we're still gonna have to finish the lower lash line. All right, I got a little more work time here. I just wanna make sure that we're all the way to the tip and I'm kind of pushing my lashes up like where I want them to be in a curl and I'm pulling these guys out over here and that's the vast lash. I'm going to do the other one. See I'm rolling this on here. So we've had like 
barely any snow. But we've had a couple times it snows, but it's like it doesn't last. And the reason why you're seeing a new background behind me is because we are getting a whole new roof in the spring. We, when we bought this house, we were like, it's 20 years from now. Who cares? We'll buy a roof in 20 years. It's like brand new. Yeah, well, we're here. Like 20 years just went boom. Okay, so I'm going to try to get really in between those and wiggle. Here we go. Anyway, our skylights, the one in the kitchen was leaking. We have one in there. We have one that's over there in the room that I'm in. And then there's another one in our bathroom. They're supposed to come out, put tarps or Tyvek or whatever, like over them for the winter. But I had to push everything kind of on a side so that if the water does come in, all my equipment and all my makeup and everything doesn't get wet. Ready to take this off with my little magic way. You can do this with glitter also, like glitter's driving you crazy. You just take a brush and it's gone. And then I have these big brushes that I just swipe these things away. We're going to do the lower lash line now. I want to do it kind of smoky. I'm going to try this pencil brush instead of what we were using to see if I can just get, oh, hello. My golden retriever opens doors. So I'm going to do the lower lash line and I'm really loving the blue. Blue is my, it's just a nice balance between the, the liner and the shadow. This has a nice flexibility and I feel like I have a lot of control with this brush. And I'm also able to kind of blend out the color with, with itself, which I really like because it like keeps the color very true. This will clean up with concealer. But boy, oh boy, that is some, wow. I mean, it's a dreamy color. Put a little more of this, kind of bring it up a little bit higher so that you can see it over my lashes. Kind of blend it in like that to the other color. I like to switch to the other finger because it's just, I feel like I get the same angles if I do from both sides. Please excuse my nails. I have had problems getting in for manicure. I'm going to mark. I love this. This is, I just did like a wonderful smoky eye with the Chanel. And instead of like that greeny color, this one's got that blue smoke. I'm going to take a fan brush and just go back into the black and just wing this out right here where my lashes are. See, when you darken that, it makes everything kind of go that way. Wow, I like it. I like, do you guys like it? I think it's really pretty. I want to just play in this blue forever, this blue that just, mm, it does things. Very sorry someone's texting me. I have to leave it on right now because we have a friend whose father is very ill. I don't want to miss a phone call. So my apologies. I, I'm dying over this. Like it, I definitely turned it into more of a nighttime look, but you saw how I built to this point. And like, I was looking at it and it was just like, not too much eyeshadow. Like there's no thickness. Does that make sense? There's no like, added product that you don't want. It's just, it's just there. This is another thing that I like to do on the area that's um, falling down. I put a little bit of the shimmer on there and I swear it's like magic. I'm gonna take a little bit of this and since I'm already covered in makeup, I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand. 
And then I am going to take a very small brush and I am going to sharpen that edge. like that, just to give me a little bit of an eye lift. When you use a teeny tiny little brush like this, you have more precision. Don't pull the area because you want it to be how it is when you're just hanging out not when you're straightening things out because look everything just went up i'm trying to leave the smokiness at the same time and then i will show you if you want to pull out a wing a fairly firm brush and go into the eyeliner that you're using what i do is i go into the eyeliner with a very stiff brush. Now, I usually do not do a wing, just saying. I think they don't work on me. I feel like a wing-ish looks good on me. You're gonna tap this on your hand, make sure you don't have too much product. Go in. Just pull that out over the fold, have your eye open when you're doing it, and you can have a little wing. Go right here. And then I take a Q-tip at the end. I get these at Ulta, super cheap. One end is like a paddle, so you can like clean up or you can go over eyeshadow. And one end is a point. So just like that. You get lifted with a little bit of a wing. I love that. It's like, these could not be better. They come in like a huge pack. They're Ulta brand dual tipped cotton applicators highly recommend i have nothing bad to say about this at all i didn't think that there was crazy fallout until i took out the highlighter to use for eyeshadow um okay we need to pick a lip a lot of options here that we can discuss I pulled some of my tom ford colors i have a feeling about which one i want but let's see all right, we're just gonna swatch them on my arm. Let's get rid so this is the Orchid Soleil, which could really be pretty for daytime for this. I like, I like, like it. I have the color Sugar Glider, which is the one I was thinking would be really great. Those. And then I also pulled Pussycat which is a gorgeous color. Well, I might do that. That's kind of like pretty with the blush that I did. It's not sparkly, that might be the way to go. Oh, I brought blush nude. Oh, this one's so pretty. This could be absolutely spectacular with this. That's what we got so far. Indian Rose, Ah. Oh. See, I love his lipsticks. I like the non-matte better than I like the matte because that's just me. Oh, by the way, I had the rose lip oil on while I was getting ready here. If you don't like flowers, don't get it. And this is just the Soleil Frost Balm. It's got the overspray and then it's just pretty much like a shiny. 
see it has sparkles on it, but not inside. It's kind of like my concealer lips inside, which I like. You know, I'm not supposed to like it, but I do. So I'm going to take a look what you guys think. What would you pick? I kind of want to stay in this family. I think maybe we'll go with Blush Nude. I think it's kind of perfect. Just use a nude liner. I go over the vermilion line here and here. Just slightly. Then I kind of dab it and blend it. From there, I stay on the line. Then I kind of overdraw right here in the middle on the bottom. Just a little. And then I use the regular. Now this can do a little contouring too. So I'm going to sort of make a heart shape here. And then in here, and then I just sort of rub my lips together. This is the same color as the Natasha Denona Storm, which is one of her nudes. Okay, here we go. Blush Nude. I always like to get a little bit of the lip on and kind of turn it into almost a stain, like patting it in. My lips are pretty hydrated from the rose oil. Okay, now once the lip is kind of on like this, I like to pat it and then I can go back and just go in a little darker where I want to have a little extra volume. Oh, I think that is so pretty. Um, I have these two glosses and I think either one of them would be pretty over this that I forgot. We have In the Buff and Crystalline gloss. I'm like a dumb ding dong. Sparkles, no sparkles. This would just give like a wetter look and I'm going to go for the sparkles just because why not? Just in the center. They're apparently redoing the glosses too. I have no idea. I actually really like the pop and cheek with this. I was thinking Simmer from Phytosurgeons would be a really fun one to try with it just because it's available and it's not expensive and I love Phytosurgeons. So I'm just going to take a tiny little bit of Simmer, which is this beautiful neutral pink color. And I'm going to just go right here. Just to kind of amp up that area a little. Isn't it the prettiest pink? It is like lately, if I don't know what to put on, Simmer's been right there for me, which is so nice. Oh my gosh, I love this. I love this. I love this. I love this so much. Now, if we wanted to, to like be kind of fancy, we could take some sparkles. Orchid. Soleil. One of the things that you can do if you don't have like a shimmer lipstick, just grab one of your highlighters and you can pat that on. It works great. I still also have the Soleil Bloom highlighter, but I'm not feeling really highlightery with this look. It's kind of like the way this is sort of fresh. I looked at myself and I don't, I did powder under my eyes before I used 
the sh most shocking thing, my Givenchy Vole Rose. This is the best blurring, brightening under eye powder that I have found. I also want to give a shout out to Merit. Merit, you have not been taking the time to tell the over 40, over 50 crowd how great this is as a primer. I'll do my skincare and like do 70 things around the house and I'll come and sit down to film. And before I put on my foundation, I put on a squirt or two of this Merit Great Skin Instant Glow Serum. It makes you feel like your wrinkles are filled up. Just saying. This is not a joke, not a drill. I'm a huge skincare person. I am not one to take a skincare from a, uh, from a makeup brand and think that it's going to be like skincare. <laughs> and usually it's the other way. Like if a skincare brand wants to make color makeup, I'm okay, but not when it's the other direction. This is a winner and a half. I had never tried it because it was like sold out, sold out, sold out. I found it at one of my Sephora's and it's amazing. It, it, it really truly is. Okay, so this is just a finishing powder, Chantecaille. This was from Christmas, the not this year, last year. It's called Lotus Perfect Blur Glow Powder. I highly recommend if you can pick this up anywhere. It's like sometimes it's on those like, I don't know, they're like websites that get some makeup that's like not current. I just want to give my skin a little luminosity, like not everywhere, but just kind of like around. This stuff is just a dream to work with. Just gives you like that little bit of glow and kind of some blurring. All right, you guys, I think this is the finished look. Ooh, I feel like I wanna go out for dinner or something. This is such a beautiful palette. I mean, wow. Let me show you some comparison swatches. These are the ones for Iconic Smoke. And this is the khaki one with the green colors. Yeah, this definitely feels a little bit thicker. Not like in a bad way. It's just got more oomph on that first swipe than this. But I think the whole point of my eye right here, the Iconic Smoke, is that it's smoky. <laughs> okay, so that was Velour's Khaki. This is Tiger Eye. This is a really nice one because it's glowy. Like, see how like in all of these palettes we're doing, we can get some pigment at the beginning, but then it's like some of these, it's right away. Like this is Violet Satin. This is like one dip. Great color. I love this palette. There's just more to these shadows, like, than these. This is just a lot more pigment at one time. And the last one I think is Rose Topaz. Yeah, very pretty. These colors, this did it for me so much. I love this formula and I don't feel like it is that different than what we have over here. I feel like maybe the sparkly ones are, you pick up more pigment on them than with the bronzy one from here. So we've got Rose Topaz and then Violet Sateen. And up here is Tiger's Eye. And then we've got our Iconic Smoke and our Velours Khaki. You guys like them? 
I have to say they're like some of my most used palettes are these Tom Ford cream ones. As far as the lips go, I love that like they're not speaking louder than the eye. And the eye definitely became more of a nighttime look. I even would love to, this is me though, like at the end, I, I, I can never just be done. It's like, okay, one more thing. Okay, one more thing. And that's what makes me so late. I mean, when I'm late, when I'm getting ready and just, it's a lot of choices. And this is so pretty. Everything is getting redone. So I'm just gonna sit back and like, Enjoy my rock and roll look. And I want to know what you guys think. Like, is this something that you'd want to wear? Is this something that you don't want to wear? I think it's really fun. And I think that there's like a time and place for it. I keep looking at it just to like make sure that it's still on. It's like a habit. But the Tom Ford products, sometimes they're worth it. And sometimes they're not. This palette. I was dying over this. I saw some pictures of it online. I was like, I have to make that mine. But I wasn't expecting this and I'm actually glad that this is how it is. I feel like this is just the rock and roll concert that, that, that I would go to all the time when I was young and that makes me feel so happy. I wanna know what you guys think. Can you sound off down in the bottom? What do you think of the crumb formula? Do you think that this is something that you would purchase? How do you feel about the rose oil? Because if you don't like flowers in your mouth, please don't buy it. It's a waste of money. And honestly, you can get a clear lip oil anywhere. I would, unless you're like a Tom Ford freak, I would not get it. Um, I didn't buy any new lippies or anything like that, but stock up on the brow. And I think Simmer is a really good replacement for the flush. I think this is really pretty with this cheek. It's like not too much. It's just enough. And I mean, I love the way this turned out. I think it's awesome. All right, let's give myself a little spray. Hourglass Soft Focus, my favorite. I have a backup. We're like almost there. All right. Sound off down below. Tell me what you guys think. Are you going to be picking this up? Are you not going to be picking this up? Do you like to look like a grungy rock and roll girl because I feel like I could even go more like underneath if I wanted to like here let's smoke it out I like want like a little slept in look yeah just putting it on the bottom like that it just makes it look more lived in The lived in grungy look. Add a little more of the black over here. Yeah. I'm ready for the show. I like the bottom kind of harder looking. Now it's gone from a total day look to a total night look to we're back in time. I have no affiliate codes yet. <laughs> I am trying to build my channel. This is new to me. And makeup is my passion. My love was teaching. We'll talk more about that. But I've always loved makeup and now skincare. And I just think, screw everybody that doesn't think we can be hot. We are not invisible or over age 50, we are not invisible. Over age 40, we are not invisible. We can still be hot, we can still be that person. Look at me, I'm ready to go to a concert. That's how I feel. I feel young inside and I feel like maybe it's time for, I don't know, things to change in the beauty space for mature people. I 
If anyone has a different word for mature, I would love for you guys to put it down. I can't stand mature. Ugh. I don't know what to call this. Empty nest time. Um, it's weird for it to be about you again. And you just have to find your balance and your work and all the things that you do and try to get out there and have some fun. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I had fun doing my rock and roll look. <laughs> um, I hope that you guys get your hands on this palette. I think it's a winner. I really do. I think it's one of those palettes where, you know, if you're going to a club or you're going to a bar, you're going to a dark restaurant, love the lip because it's not taking anything away from the eye. First of all, love using the rose lip oil while I'm getting ready. This has been kind of like the thing that I've been putting on to just make my lips feel really hydrated before makeup. This is a great one. Um, oh, I did a little sculpting. This is the 0.5 intensity. Just used this. It's kind of a contour. I used it for contour. I used the Terra bronzer. It will forever be one of my favorite bronzers. The color and the texture are so smooth and beautiful. It's a realistic look. It's not as warm as say like the Hermes one. Okay, we looked at all of these other creme formulas and this one just seems to be, these are formulated so that you get a smoky look that is like gentle and soft. If there is such a smokiness without heavy shadow. Heavy when, even when I go into like the sparkly one, this is not heavy. It's so lightweight. It feels like I'm putting nothing on, yet I'm getting this really great look. I love the navy liner that we did. This is Navy Noir. And I love it. Sometimes when my lashes have dried like this, I'll go back in just on the sides just to kind of amp up that blue. Love that. Grunged out and I feel happy about it. I'm looking at all these colors and the Crumb family is, it's really some of my favorite shadows. Like this khaki one, it is like the most gorgeous khaki you've ever seen. All of these, like just for a super nice daytime look, the rose topaz and I mean, violet sateen is one that like I can't help myself. It's just one of those palettes that I use a ton. Tiger's Eye is really low key for daytime, love it. I think the color story here is so pretty. I love the fact that there's like this kind of grayish black, smoky, smoky color with a smoky navy. And it just is the exact amount of grunge that you just need in your life right now. And I just, mm, this gives me life. This is the kind of thing that makes me excited to put makeup on. And I don't say this about everything. I don't have, I'm not going to make any money off of this. So all I'm saying is I think this is one of the best palettes if you like a smoky look. And I think the color story is amazing. I think this micro suede formula is smooth as silk. Feels a little bit thinner than the previous ones that maybe got a little bit more on the pickup. That's okay, this is a really buildable um, compact. And you know, the center shade is not crazy highlighty, which I'm kind of glad. I, you know, I usually love to like do like a highlight in the middle, but I just think this is just perfect the way that it is. I really do. I think you guys are gonna love it. 
I hope it gets to like all the stores and everybody can get one of these. I hope it goes into the permanent line. I think that maybe things are going to go well with Tom Ford coming forward. Hopefully they have somebody great who's doing all of this work. And even though Estee Lauder has had control of the Tom Ford beauty brand for a long time now, I still think he had some, I don't know, jobs, some say, some ideas, some thoughts, however it worked for him. I don't know if he was there when they did this, but I'm impressed. And personally, I feel like it's worth the spend if you like a grungy, cool tone look. A smoky, grungy, cool tone look that'll take you back to like listening to Pearl Jam or something live in a concert that you're sitting at and you're just having fun with friends. You can get that in a makeup. <laughs> so travel back in time with me to the iconic smoke. Uh, I love the fact that we're sitting here talking about makeup. Like, I love sharing the fact that you can use simmer and get the same kind of effect that you would with flush that you can't get. I love that like a finishing powder, either Hourglass or Chantecai, just made this so much more modern. There's like a brightness now that wasn't there before, but not highlightery. The blue eyeliner takes me back, but this is navy. And even though it looks like I could have slept in my makeup, I think the eye woke up like this, you know, grungy eye. I don't know. If, I used to wash my face at night. I was like crazy, but like we've all seen ourselves with the makeup falling down the face. This is a blast from the past with a modern spin, and I think you will love it. That is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for being here. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please become part of the family. I am a teacher, and I think it's so important that we learn from each other, and I would love to have you here as part of the conversation of what we are talking about. We're talking about how to deal with these aging issues and still be hot. We're doing it. There's, it's not like a practice. And somebody once said to me, take the photo because you'll never be younger than you are right now. <laughs> so take the photos try the makeup, do all the things, have fun. This is supposed to be fun. This is supposed to be relaxing. This is not the look that you're going to throw together on the way to work. This is one that you're going to do for some special occasion of going out. And you could do, like I had at the beginning, just a very light smoke and got daytime going. Head to the bathroom after work amp it up and go some more fun. Okay, I'm really done this time. Thank you so much, you guys, for being here. Mwah. Ring the bell. Please do all the things. I'll see you soon. Bye. I like to give everybody a heads up when I know that there are things that are coming out. Chanel is going to knock your socks off, so take that into consideration. There are many pieces that I've seen already, at least two eyeshadow palettes. I just saw blush. I just saw a highlighter. It looks like it's going to be a huge collection and it should be coming very, very soon. I just like everybody to know ahead of time so that you can budget, you can figure out what you want to get, what you don't want to get, what's for you, what's not for you. Remember, it's makeup. It washes off, but I can't have everything. I just look at the things that interest me. And if I can't stop thinking about them, then I know I really want it.
But otherwise, it's like you could want everything. Oh, I'm going to get this. Oh, I'm going to get this. Oh, I'm going to get this. I think the new group that's doing the Chanel is going to be very hot this year. And I think the Tom Ford is one of his best or one of their best. I don't even know what to say anymore. But the thing for us is that all of this should just be fun. And I really want to talk about the fun part of makeup where, you know, today I did my complexion and all that stuff just because I knew I was going to be talking for such a long time. But I don't know. I, I miss grunge. I miss the cool tones. I can't believe I did my hair today that was like perfect for the grunge. There are so many things right now. It's like you have to sort of take a breath, start making a list, things that you think you want, things that you must have, and figure out what's going to be limited edition and what is not limited edition. Those are really important. Um, okay, I'm so happy to report that this is permanent, so you don't need to freak out. It's going to be here. It's going to be everywhere. Apparently, they said that the, Feb the February runway quads are permanent, like Tiger Eye, Rose Topaz, Hazy Sensuality, and the fall ones are limited, like Violet Satine, Ambrosia. I don't have Ambrosia, but it's not limited. So you can figure out when a good time is to buy this. You don't have to rush. You don't have to freak out. You don't have to find it. It will come to you when you're ready. My husband getting hungry downstairs. It's like, yeah, I just know he is. What time is it? Oh, yeah. Okay. So right now, you can call my essay at Neiman's. His name is Andrew. I will put the information in the description box. He is the nicest person. So knowledgeable. Has been in the business for a very long time. He's very kind. You will enjoy working with him. Just a little note. February 10th to the 25th at Neiman's. They, they are going to be having travel size um, cosmetic case. I'm putting it up here that's filled with samples and that's for a 150 purchase. And you get a headband and face cloths with any 350 purchase. And they're little cases, which I think are really cute. That's a cute bag for them. Usually they do like those tote bags. But they always have a good beauty event. Each of the different vendors always has something special that they give. So if there's a brand that you like, that you are into, that they sell at Neiman's, I highly recommend you guys either going in or giving Andrew a call and he will just take care of it by phone. My box got here in like a day or two. It was like nothing. Love you guys. Bye. Now, there is a warmer palette, and I'll put it up here. It doesn't really appeal to me in the same way. I have so many warm palettes. This is something I don't have. This is like grungy rock and roll. Even my hair today is like perfect for it. I feel like I could go to like a show, not be a grown up. Just reminds me of like the smoky, mysterious, iconic woman. And that is us, right? All right, guys. Um, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for subscribing. Ring the bell and you'll know when I upload. I do that several times a week. I've got some good videos coming up. I would love for you to be here. Thank you so much. And all of you have a great day. Mm -hmm. Take care. Bye. Thank you.